Listen to that spooky music behind me. Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild 7. I'm here in Blackpool. This is one of the Lightpool displays. It's called Light Sphere. It's here in Bickerstaff Square. Yeah, just across from the Holiday Inn. You can see the Holiday Inn behind me. Uh, so I've come out on a Friday night to have a little look around and try to catch up on some of these light pool displays that I haven't seen or maybe you haven't seen. It's the last night on Saturday night. You're probably watching this video and it'll all be over. So, so I thought I'd take a little walk around. I've still got a sore foot, by the way. Yeah, I've still got a sore foot. So it's going to be a fairly short video tonight. Man, I say that sometimes and it ends up being a long video, doesn't it? So I thought we'll take a little walk around the town and we'll have a look at some of the light build displays which I haven't seen yet, hopefully. And uh, hopefully my foot won't uh, give me too much more trouble. So let's do that then. So there you go, light sphere. Here in Bickerstaff Square and as I pull this way if you look at the distance right over there and I mean right over there there's a house all lit up with, with a mural on it and I actually went past that in the video that I put up on Friday night the walk around the back streets of North Shore so you can see that in that video but anyway just behind me we've got this place here the rail side Brew house. I think it's shut at the moment. It looks shut anyway. There's nobody in there. I thought this might be open now actually. Uh, well, this is new. Yeah, the newest pub in Blackpool. Yeah. Welcome to the rail side. It was a coffee shop. I uh, sent a few people walk up to it and uh, then walk away, so obviously it's closed. But anyway. I want the guy, I was just speaking to the guys over there and they told me that there's an exhibit outside the Grundy Art Gallery which is somewhere over there so let's have a little look over there shall we? It's just started to rain. Well we've got a little bit of drizzle actually. Uh, it's not too bad, just a bit of drizzle. It's not going to be any harm is it? So let's have a little scoot over here shall we? And see if I can see bring you some of the some of the light pool displays which I missed here's a little look at Mark Kelly's it's banging in Mark Kelly's tonight well it is a Friday night and it's a holiday so there's quite a lot of people in Blackpool at the moment I just want to show you this one here because I showed it during the day but I didn't show it at night this uh, octopus uh, lamp thing I don't know what it's called I can't see the I can't see the sign, but there you go. It was some designer, some, some I can't remember his name, but some guy designed. I said that whoever designed it was probably on some funny, funny pills or something. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to head this way because I want to head towards uh, this road just over it. But that's where the library is and the art gallery just down there. Fucking beer. I'll tell you what, they've got it all in here, look at that. You know what, I can't believe it. the sheer amount of whiskies that there are. It's unbelievable, the amount of different whiskies. Southern Comfort, Famous Grouse, Jack Daniels, Bells, Jameson's. Honestly, there's so many. Well, it's, it's not a bad night, apart from a little bit of drizzle. It's looking quite busy. The bright lights are on here on Dixon Road. Let's head down here, shall we? Well, this is the Catholic Club, by the way. I was asked to mention that a few times because I've always gone past it but never mentioned it. The Catholic Club. Well, there you go. Got a bit of a car park behind it as well. car park's full as well look it's called Queen Street car park I'll tell you what some people out tonight who look like they've had a few drinks there's a guy in the bus shelter here 
who's uh, well, he's got some funny, funny uh, clothes on. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a Grundy over there, and I was told that there was an artwork outside there, but all I can see are a couple of homeless people. So uh, this lot are getting a bit rowdy. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, there is one over here. Yeah, they were right. Look, it's a bunny rabbit one. Look. There you go. Can you see that? Look. So there you go. Yeah, but there's, uh, I'll tell you what, there's a few beer monsters out tonight. But anyway, we'll avoid them because I'm looking for these light pool exhibits. Well, that one's called, what's it called? Oh, Warren Street. It's called Warren Street. There you go. There's the information. You can pause it and read that if you want. Hello. The Galleon Bar. There you go. Live music, you can get it there in the galleon bar. And if you fancy having a go yourself, you can. It's noisy in there, in the station. This is Abingdon Street. Ooh, look at all these people. Wow. The Americano's probably just shutting up, I think. It's around about half past eight. Forgot to mention the time. Yeah, half past eight on the Friday. So I'll just like it up here. So I'm just walking along Abingdon Street and uh, there's some interesting characters around here at the moment. Yeah, the street's looking a bit wet. It's uh, it's a very, very light drizzle, but it actually makes the lights look better, don't you? You know when you get the reflections? It's just the right amount to get you those reflections without getting too wet. Oh, I can hear music. So this is where the buses have been diverted to. So if you want to catch a bus in Blackpool, you might need to check the timetable because they've diverted them. Yeah, they've diverted them from some of the stops to here. That's where all the music's coming from in there, West Coast Rock. I remember going in there once and it was too noisy. We couldn't hear each other. We couldn't hear each other speak. So I'm now in St John Square and I just want to show you this one up here. I can't remember if I showed you this one. At night, I might have done. Let's go and have a closer look, shall we? So I'm just making my way up here to this one here. I don't know the name. Oh, it's called Supernova. There you go. Look at this one here. Does it have music with it? Uh, I can hear music coming from somewhere. I think there's one round the back. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of people around here. Look at this, look. In St John's Square. For Supernova, there you go. I'll let you read that. They've also got something on top of the winter gardens over there. Look, can you see that? They've got something lit up on top of there. Look. So anyway, let's have a quick look round here because there's one just round here. Cedar Square. This is this is Cedar Square now. We'll just have a quick look at this one because people want to have pictures taken with it. It's a butterfly look. 
it's called Blackpool Wings. So there you go. See, come on, Grandma. <laughs> See, smile. So it's in a few of the displays now, and I want to go and have a look at one that I haven't seen, which is supposed to be pretty good. And it's just by the new Batlot Cinema, which is somewhere over that way. So let's have a little walk over there and check that one out, shall we? So I'm just heading down Leopold Grove now, just by the new Winter Gardens Conference Centre. Look at this. Isn't it fancy? Blackpool is now a player for major conferences. Well, we always have been, but we've never had like a really modern conference centre until now. Look at this. Isn't it fancy? There's the entrance there. Check it out, there's all the info there. Look, we've even got an old wall. Look at that there, the old original wall there. This is on the side of the Empress Ballroom, I think. Look at the windows there, look. And you can see that wall inside as well. Look at that there. You can see where, you can see where they used to have like windows and doorways and stuff in the olden days, but we're just walking around the back of the Empress Ballroom now. And, uh, I'll take a right down the side, which is called Adelaide Street, and we'll check out that uh, display down by the cinema. So I'm just coming down Adelaide Street now. Check out these posh hotels here, look. The Melville Hotel, Adelaide House. Quite swanky, aren't they? That Dukeries Hotel is still shut, though, up further up there. That one that's all derelict, it's been shut for ages. But anyway, we're just coming down now to this little square in front of the, uh, the Hounds Hill Centre. There's supposed to be a, some sort of projection thing going on here, but I can't see anything at the moment. Uh, so this is the, this is the Backlot Cinema. And just over there is the Backlot Diner. Look at this, doesn't it look fancy? Anyway, what, what have we got over here? There is a sign. We've got a sign here. Just started a new sequence. Okay, thanks. So this one is called Parallels. Architecture Social Club, I'll let you read that there. It's actually inside this one. Oh, it's right. Hey, I'll tell you what. Look at this. Wowzers. Look at that. Whoa, it's like being at a nightclub, isn't it? <laughs> what else is? Look at this. Isn't it amazing? So I wonder what this space is for, folks. Is it for a shop for the Hound's Hill? I don't know. What do you reckon? Got a bit of dry ice going as well. Find my way out. Ooh, well, that was quite interesting. What do you think to that? I didn't expect it to be inside. So there you go, that was a little look at uh, this one. So there you go, that was a little look at some of the light pool displays here in Blackpool. As it comes to a close, you're probably watching this after it's closed for another year. Pretty good, I think, really. Got off to a bit of a bad start, though, didn't it, with that storm? With that flux, that flux one, by the way, they did rebuild it inside the tower. They did, but it's, they took it out last night, so I couldn't film that, unfortunately. I did what I could, and I've got a bit of a sore foot, so I'm going to wrap it up there for now. 
in this video. I hope you like the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.